In this new video, I'm going to show you Nepeto, an online arbitrage sourcing tool that has good things and bad things, and this is my full, transparent, honest review of it. Hope you like it. First of all, the cool thing about Nepeto is that it has online arbitrage, wholesale, distributors. It has many different features, but let's go ahead and start with online arbitrage right here. Here you can set up your filter. So for example, the BSR, you, you want it to be, for example, no more than lower than 3% uh, BSR, which is best seller ranking. And this is where products are ranking, how fast they are selling. So we're gonna put no more than or, or maximum 3% BSR. Also gonna want a price that is at least $20 just to eliminate a lot of products on Amazon that are very lowly priced and they are probably not gonna be profitable for us doing online arbitrage. So a minimum of $20 right here. And then here in categories, you can select either all categories or you can exclude categories that you absolutely don't wanna source from. All right, if you see here, I included everything except these specific categories that I know for a fact are not good for online arbitrage from prior experience. So if you wanna copy that exactly, feel free to do that, and then you're gonna save it right here. And then Nepeto is gonna exclude those categories. Now here, when you go to more filters, this window is gonna pop up and you can put the profit. You want a minimum profit of at least $4 right here. And then you're gonna close that out. At least 20% ROI right here. So what, what I've been seeing off the bat is that the sales per month that I'm getting are you know, three sales per month, which is not much at all. And Unfortunately, Nepeto doesn't have a way to, other than the BSR filter that we put before that, we want no uh, maximum of 3% BSR. It doesn't have a way to filter out exact sales per month. And it ends up in results like this, that is only three sales per month, which is insignificant and it's not good for for my particular sourcing. I'm also seeing that some of the results are given an IP alert. This is because I have the software IP alert. If you don't have it already, I highly recommend you get this software. I talked about it in extent in some of my other videos. I'm gonna include a link under this video for a $30 off discount by using my code daily Hernan. And I highly recommend uh, this software. What it basically does is it will pop up an alert whenever it detects that one of the brands that you're looking at is not brand safe. Basically, it can get you in trouble. It can issue you an IP complaint with Amazon. So it keeps you safe when you're selling. Now, this result is 125 sales per month, but if you look at the variations, the rating is basically it ends up being one sell per month for this particular variation. So we're gonna to try to go ahead and be more aggressive with the BSR and we want only the top 1% to see if that is gonna help us at all in filtering out results that have more estimated sales per month. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, one little thing, as I'm going through the results, I'm automatically discarding a lot of these results because for example, I know it's gonna be hazard because it has a battery and I avoid any dangerous goods items because they are very hard to ship to FBA. You can get approved, but it's a, it's a pain in the butt. So I avoid those. Uh, some of the other ones are, again, another one, electronics that uh, I don't particularly want. If I know that, if I'm seeing a brand uh, that I know is already off the top of my head that is IP complaint or is red restricted, meaning that they don't take any more ungating applications, meaning it's impossible to get ungated on, then I automatically discard it as I'm browsing through these results. So you should do that just to avoid, again, cologne, perfume, I avoid any of those products. So you, you wanna speed up your sourcing when you're doing that. So unfortunately, I, I see that there is a lot of issues with this tool in terms of being able to correctly filter out, especially estimated sales per month and any type of IP complaint brands 
or brands that are red restricted across the board. And you basically see all these results and it's very, very time consuming to go through all these results. I literally just spent 20 minutes without being able to find one single result. I think that the tool has a lot of potential, but I personally haven't been able to find results as quickly as with other tools like Source Mogul or Tactical Arbitrage. Now let's explore some of the other features that this tool has. They also have a section here for Amazon Flips or otherwise known as Amazon to Amazon Flips. So we're gonna check that one out right here as well. So this is an example of an Amazon flip where right now it's 78% uh, lower than usual. As you see, it's an, on average, the buy box was uh, 21, 24 on the 90 day mark. So if you put 21 here as a sales price and you were to get it at the current price, 860, you're still not hitting your metrics. But again, after a lot of work, you could potentially find some good deals. It also has Amazon to Walmart. Amazon to Walmart, if you're selling on the Walmart marketplace and you're sourcing products to buy from, from Amazon, otherwise known as Amazon to Walmart, then a pedo, which I haven't seen this on any other online arbitrage tool, they have a specific feature for that. And this is where for example, let's say I try to find a product on Amazon. Let's say, for example, this one is at $11 and it's selling only at $14. I got to set up my filters, which I haven't. But once you have your filters set up, you might find some gold here where you find it, let's say, at $10 on Amazon. You can resell it for $35 at Walmart, make a nice little profit if you are indeed a seller at the Walmart marketplace. What I like about Nepeto is their storefront scanner. If you're not familiar, every Amazon seller storefront has a seller ID associated with it. So if you identify a competitor, somebody who's selling very profitable products, another person that like you is doing online arbitrage, you go to their storefront, get their seller ID, plug it in here, and Nepeto will run all the products in their storefront against their own database and show you which ones have a potential to be flipped by, by yourself. So this is a great tool to have. And the fact that I believe that they allow you with their biggest plan, they allow you 30 storefront scans per day. I'm not sure if it's per day or per month. Here's another great tool if you do Amazon Wholesale. Generally, Amazon host, or wholesale suppliers, they will provide you with a whole list of potential products for you, and they will give you only UPC numbers. So you can grab that sheet and upload it here, and then what Nepeto will do is they, they will match it against their corresponding listings on Amazon, and they will provide you with their AC numbers for each, and also run it across their database to see if there is a potential profit. And this is a, a huge help when you're working with a, a ginormous list from a wholesale supplier of tens of thousands of products to analyze. But finally, the Nepeto Master Search. This is where you refer back to your own list or database of profitable products and you put it on a CSV spreadsheet, you upload it here, and the pedal will tell you, again, running it across their own database, which one have a potential to be analyzed by you and that are currently, currently profitable. So finally, what I like the most about Nepeto is their pricing. The pricing is very affordable compared to other tools out there. I know, for example, Source Mogul is, I think, 67 a month. Tactical Arbitrage, I believe, is 79 a month. And there are some other ones that are even more expensive. And this one, you can get a, a really decent plan for $34 a month. If you want to go for the master one, it's uh, $0 for two weeks just to test it out, which I highly recommend you get this one first, the master one for $0. Test it out for two weeks. See if you actually like it. You will definitely get some value out of it. If anything, wholesale suppliers run a bunch of uh, storefront scans, run the Chrome extensions. So there is a lot of value to be had. 
Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. No tool out there for online arbitrage is, in my opinion, perfect at this point in time. They only can help you. They can aid you in your own online arbitrage. You gotta still do most of the work. So if you wanna try it out, I'm gonna include a link under my video description. Click on that link because through that link, you are gonna be able to get this special pricing. Otherwise, you won't be able to get this pricing. So click on the link, try it out for two entire weeks completely for free. And then if you don't like it, then cancel it. If you do like it, but you don't wanna pay $112 a month, then downgrade to the advanced plan. Now, I highly recommend you also get my online arbitrage leads. Why? Because there's only so much that these tools can do for you. I provide the only service out there where I manually source myself. Everybody else is using virtual assistants, tools. I manually source every single morning. And if you want a profitable product sourced by a pro that's been doing this for nine years, this is for you. MyOAleads.com, go and sign up. You only have 12 more days before the price goes up. Once the price goes up, that's it. Unfortunately, I will not be lowering the price in any foreseeable future. Go ahead and sign up, myoaleads.com, get profitable products delivered to your inbox every single day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a huge like and then subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, you're probably gonna like some of my other videos. Keep up the great work.